Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So for this video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're not going to be working on any of the cars or installing any parts or anything like that. What we're going to do is kind of have a behind the scenes look at the actual YouTube channel itself. I'm going to go ahead and show you and just kind of talk about how to start your YouTube channel, you know, what to expect at first and ultimately how much money you're going to be making, you know, you know, kind of as soon as you monetize basically. Again, I'm a small YouTuber. I only have at this point like 3300 subscribers. So this is kind of going to be, you know, you know, pretty relative to the you guys out there that are watching this that are thinking about um, you know, possibly starting up one of these or, you know, if you're just looking to have some fun kind of like I am, this is just kind of a bonus get getting paid to uh kind of have a hobby here. So, yeah, this video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to throw um, kind of like a screen catcher up here of my actual computer that I have right here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I'm going to put it up on the screen for you there so you can see my pretty face, but then you can see the important stuff, everything that's on the computer. So let's dive into this, guys. Should be a split screen right now. So just wanted to go ahead and, uh, you know, oh, look at this right here. This is our actually some... Uh, some stuff I might be uh, picking up for the TRX pretty soon. So there you go. If you've been following me for the TRX kind of stuff, that's something I'm about to order right now. But here we go. So if you're subscribed to me, this looks pretty familiar to you. This is my YouTube channel right now. 3,200 subscribers, putting out a lot of TRX stuff. Uh, as you can see, the TRX views, Definitely a bit better than some of my other uh, guitar views or, you know, random tool shit. So, yeah, I would say, it's pretty safe to say anyway, that a lot of you guys are here for the trucks and for uh, modifying the vehicles. So, let's talk about uh, monetization. So, you know, to get paid on YouTube, you gotta be monetized. So, to get monetization on YouTube, you obviously have to apply for it. So I would say as soon as you start your YouTube channel, go ahead, it's gonna be inside the actual um, little, your uh, screen basically. Let me go ahead, I'll show you over here. So you come over here, go to your YouTube studio. So here you go, this is your YouTube studio. So what you wanna do for monetization is you come down here. Since I'm already monetized, I'm not gonna show you, but you come down here, you click on that, and then there's gonna be an apply button. It's gonna say apply for monetization. Click on that. Now that's the first step done. Now the next step is gonna be a little bit more difficult. You have to meet the qualifications for monetization. So first qualification, you gotta have a hunt, gotta have a thousand subscribers. Next one, which for some people this one seems to be harder, you have to have four thousand watch hours of all your videos. For me, um, I hit the four thousand hours a lot quicker than I hit the 1000 subs. Mainly because for me, being an automotive channel, I do a lot of tutorials, a lot of step-by-steps. So I figured, or I didn't figure, I realized when I was looking at my analytics that those videos, the watch time was a lot longer than some of just like the update videos. So people were watching my videos as a tutorial, step-by-step, -step. they're watching them multiple times. So if you're looking to uh, start a automotive related channel and you're pretty handy, I would say definitely start with some of those tutorials, some step-by-steps, that's really gonna bring those hours up pretty quick. And then the subscribers will just follow. Now, you gotta meet those qualifications within the first 12 months of you actually putting out those videos. That's something you have to think about as well. It legit took me one year to get my monetization. But like I said, the 4,000 watch hours wasn't an issue. By the time I monetized, I had almost 6,000 watch hours within those 12 months but it took me almost, it took me basically all of 12 months to get those subscribers. So with that out of the way, once you hit both of those um, you know, criteria, if you have already applied for monetization, like I said to do before you even you know, started thinking about that, you'll be approved a lot quicker. That's just a quick tip on uh, you know, speeding up that monetization project. So back over here to the screen, this is your main channel dashboard. So see right over here, it's just a quick overview of the channel analytics. So you can see, uh, you know, current subscribers up here. This is how many subscribers I've gained in the past 28 days. Quick little summary down here, how many views in the past 28 days, watch hours, and then right here, your estimated revenue. So that's 
right there guys it's an estimate typically the estimates are a little bit lower than what you actually take home but they're not far off it's typ they're typically off by like twenty dollars so roughly at this point in time i'm making about two hundred dollars a month it's not that much so let that be you know let that sink in that's the harsh reality of it right here if you think you're gonna start making videos and you're gonna start making a bunch of money right off the bat absolutely not um let me just put this into perspective if i'm making 200 dollars a month off youtube that's not even two fill-ups on my trx so if you think i'm funding my trx and being able to afford a trx off of youtube no way uh, again if you're just looking to do this as a hobby in my opinion it's the absolute best way of looking at it you're getting paid 200 dollars a month to do something you're going to be doing anyway it's it's kind of cool looking at it that way yeah i was getting a little bit off track there because i kind of wanted to do this in like step by step but yeah i've already fucked that up so let's just keep going with it so like i was saying this was just like your quick little channel analytics overview over here you can clearly see it says latest video performance and then this is just obviously your last upload my last upload was about a week ago this is how many views clicker rate all that so you can get down here to the comments you can even go to that certain videos analytics um, scroll down here a little bit more you can see just published videos um, you know latest posts that I make uh, my subscribers over here and then just latest comments that I haven't responded to yet I'm pretty bad at responding I'm sorry about that guys but over here you can see this is obviously your content so these are all your videos that you've posted over the years um, like I mentioned earlier I've been doing this for about two years now I don't really know how many videos I have but I do know it's um, over a hundred so that's pretty cool down here obviously playlist so you can um, just see everything there if you create playlists or anything I got a few of them going on right now basically just for certain vehicles that I've been working on and then one for uh, kind of guitar and music stuff so down here you can see right under playlist we got analytics now this is when you can get into the real nitty-gritty of your analytics here and you can break down everything and you know see exactly you know everything laid out straight you know just straight up really simple to read um, you don't need to be like a rocket scientist to figure this stuff out it's very self-explanatory um, I really just kind of wanted to show you guys to put it into perspective how much money you can be making you know right off the bat so you know we digress now so over here, you can see, I got a little acclimate up here. Cool, whatever. But this is your views for the past 28 days, just like you saw on the actual dashboard on the summary page. This is just kind of broken down a little bit more for you. But you can see down here, your top videos, this period, just everything just kind of laid out for you so you can easily navigate and see everything you want to see. So again, this was just the overview for it. So right up here, you can see your reach, you got your views, unique viewers, all this kind of stuff over here. Uh, how, how people are finding your YouTube videos, you know, YouTube searches, external searches, browser features, suggested videos, all that's pretty cool down here. You can see everything, traffic, and then engagement up here. Look at that, got 1900 hours this month that's kind of cool so you can see once you get that you know following going for you you can get through those watch hours real quick so like I was saying with tutorials which I post a lot of you get those watch hours up so again if you're looking to start an automotive channel do some tutorials but yeah you can see top playlist top videos top post so yeah super easy to read here you know, audience Again, subscribers over here, unique viewers, returning viewers. Now this is something I want to call you guys out on over here. Look at this. Watch time from subscribers. My subscribers, which I'm super appreciative of, only make up 5% of my views. So that means 95% of you guys that are watching my videos right now are not subscribed. Guys, please hit that subscribe button. It's totally free. Just do it. It'll make me happy. We can get this percentage up because this is sad. But calling you guys out. Prove me wrong. Come on. But 
again, we'll go over here now to the important stuff, which I'm sure most of you guys want to see because that's why you're watching this. Let's be real. You guys want to make YouTube money. So here you can see your estimated revenue for the past 28 days. Again, it's not that much money. Again, this is an estimate. Like I'm telling you, it's typically a little bit more, but we're, we're right around that $200 mark. But again, not that much money. So you can see right here for the past 28 days, I'm gonna go ahead, I'll show you lifetime earnings on YouTube. It's a little bit more than that, but let's let's call it let's call it three thousand. So the past two years of doing YouTube earnings three thousand um, dollars. Let's just say YouTube is not making me rich right now. So again. If you look at this as a hobby, what are you losing? You're not really losing anything. You're actually gaining a little bit of extra, you know, mod money, gas money, Chipotle money, Starbucks money, whatever, you know, money you need. So again, that's the best way of looking at this, guys. So yeah, just wanted to make a quick video, just kind of highlighting everything for you guys. I don't really see too many other automotive channels really doing this, giving you guys like a behind the scenes look at the channel. We just kind of want to put it in this uh, perspective for you guys don't think that you know people you know that have subscribers and sub 100,000 are really making that much money here we're you know a lot of guys we're just doing this for fun well, we like to put information out there for you guys and that's the way I look at it I look at YouTube as a social media platform and it gives me a little bit more room to be creative make videos maybe help some of you guys out there so if you look at it that way and then you just look at the earnings as a little bit of extra side hustle money, you're not really losing anything. So that's gonna do it for this one, guys. Uh, once again, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead, hit that subscribe button down below. If you like this quick little style of video, let me know in the comment section. I'll keep doing stuff like this. And if you like uh, this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. Once again, guys, I'm Will. This is the Women You YouTube channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.